Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I'm going to try some vertical planning this week and I'm going to try no white space. So if you want to see my attempt, then just keep watching. Okay, so I mentioned in my planning through COVID-19 video that we should try doing different kinds of planning. So this is my attempt at a no white space. Oh, I'm actually really scared. I don't know if I can do this, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to do it in a whistle and birch. I think vertical planners are easier for no white space. And if this works and if I've managed to pull this off, then maybe I can try no white space in my planner. But we'll start off here. Uh, so this is a Milo and Milk kit that I've been hoarding for I don't know how long. I think these boxes will fit in here really well. And plus it's a nice, bright, kind of fun week and I thought fun kit and I thought that I I thought I'd give it a shot. So I'm going to start off with these washi strips and cover up the tops. So I'm just going to stick that down. I have to use tweezers to help me out. Actually I might go upside down. I'm not sure if this kit is still available. I will obviously check it. If it is I will link it down below. It's obviously a donut kit. Yeah, it's really fun. I just think it looks awesome. Milo and milk are generally pretty good at coming up. But if it, if it wasn't, I was just going to use my undo. We are using a sticky kit, which means, guess what? There will be plenty of undo in here. So just be ready. I'm trying to make this as straight as I possibly can. Yes, yeah, okay. There we go. And then we'll do the same thing with the other side. So it'll cover up this one. You guys will have to let me know if I break the rules of no white space because I have a feeling or I'm, I'm not quite sure what to do down here so I, I'm gonna attempt to cover it up but if it's not supposed to be or if I yeah you just have to let me know okay now for me I think the easiest way is going to be working down down the boxes so therefore the the next logical thing is to put the dates in I'm just going to stick them on. There may be a little bit of white space because I feel like the whistle and birches are set up to have the, the slight column down the edge. So I'll, I'm going to leave those, but I might put some washi tape in just to kind of fill the whole thing up. So I'm just putting these right up against each other. These Milo Milk stickers do have a little bit of height to them, so they're really easy to butt up. And I'm just trying to keep the lines as straight as I can. And then to put the dates in, I've grabbed these ones from Honeysuckle. They're just clear ones, because I do want to put the dates back in. Um, so I just grab clear ones and I'm just going to put these in on the actual days. So 16, 15, 14. The only downside is they're, they are glossy clear ones. I just wanted ones that were slightly bigger so they kind of fit in with this font size. So i just continue these along. I'm going to speed through a little bit just so you guys don't have to listen to me talk the whole time. hoping these glitter headers, this glitter sheet would be really like they're really super skinny kind and then I could put them all down the sides but I'll come up with some washi tape at the end we'll add some in all right no white space no white space oh this is really pushing my abilities guys I'm not sure if I'm this clever um all right so I know when I've done using kits before I've kind of done the the line across the middle I think I want to break that up this time and do something different so I might go sort of up and down so I'm just going to start off with all right ones that I know need to be a long way apart I need to put the two milos on opposite ends so we'll go ready. okay 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 so these stickers are slightly higher than my boxes which is fine they're the same width they're just different heights so because of that I'm going to work down each of the um, columns. So I think what I'll do is put, actually might work upwards. 
So I'm going to put the to-do boxes at the bottom of each column and I'm just going to put a different one of all these. So just put these along and then give it a header and then work up. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick these down. needed to do every day so I'm going to change the headers up so I'm going to have this week at the start and I'm just going to alternate between the yellow and the pink so we'll start with this one so this one just says this week so we'll put that one down first I don't know how you do this without tweezers okay so this week and then this one becomes a to-do basically just avoiding the todays that's the, the really easy way to look at it so this week to do We'll do goals. We'll do it to clean. So if you are sort of doing the whole list thing, that was another suggestion in that video. This would be a really good way to do it, especially if you've got one of these kind of um, vertical planners. So instead of doing these as like a jobs to do today thing, do this. Break them up into things you want to do this week, things you want to do that could be today. Then you've got like goals, you've got a cleaning list. So I want this last one to be next week. And this one then can be bits and... Oh, no, I'll just do another to-do. And then this one can be... Okay. So then we're going to come up another one. So I'm going to alternate between the pictures and then something else. So for this one... Do the Milo, so just lining that up there, and then do. I've got more headers. Jeez. Okay, so we'll have. I'm really interested to see if this will fit, or if it's actually going to end up being a little bit too big or too small. So we'll soon find out. And this is the part that I start getting stuck because I don't know what to do other than just stick stickers down. And I'm not sure if that's just the point. So we're just we're just gonna do that. So I've kind of ended up with a little weird spot there. So I'm just going to grab one of these headers that doesn't have an actual title on it. And I think it's going to be just a little bit, like just a teensy, teensy little bit too big. But I'm just going to put that in there anyway. And I think it'll be fine. All right, one column. I know that's really weird. But anyway. But the other thing I'm going to do as I go along here is I'm actually going to write things in here. So Monday is actually obviously Easter Monday. So today I'm gonna to put that in at least then I can kind of work some things out all right so next one's gonna have you know, these little pink speckly things so I think what I'll do is just kind of move the big box around as long as it's in the pattern somewhere I think that would make it be okay and make sure to leave room to still be able to write things in other than the to-do list because they're obviously important but don't need all of them oh I can put those in I didn't realize that came out okay cool so these little I was wondering before this little sort of spot here does that count as white space but I didn't realize that the little notch that goes in there actually is a sticker so I'm gonna put that in there actually really hard to get in the spot but anyway just while I'm here just because this sticker is kind of screaming at me to be used I'm gonna put this one I'm gonna grab one of these headers that's got food put that at the top it's gonna be sort of our meal tracker for the week okay and I'll 
I'll put some extra stickers down this side as well. Um, actually, I have an idea. Is there one that says Happy Mail? No. Why isn't there the one that says Happy Mail? That's disappointing. So I'm going to make it just be this little one here with the heart. Alright, this blue. And I'll just write Happy Mail in. And then I'm going to put that eighth sort of to-do box that can go in here. Tiny little bit of white space. I'm hoping no one will get close at me for that. Um, okay, we're gonna have this one. We'll go up to the top. Starting to get the hang of this. I feel like if you you sort of build up your headers, and these are really old stickers, so it wouldn't surprise me that one got stuck. Um, if you build up your headers, you sort of make a little bit more sense for what each of the little empty boxes is for. Slowly. Then you get on a bit of a roll. would be nice just not a lot but just some room to have maybe some of these to-do lists and bits and pieces and I don't know if they count or not so for the purposes of this video I'm going to keep doing this the way that I have been doing it but someone let me know if I technically can use some like if it's a to-do list or something if I can use that I'm hoping that no white space is a little bit like my kind of rules of planning as in there are none it's sort of what I'm thinking that means but who would know starting to get a bit stuck. I feel like there should be another box to be able to write stuff in there, but there kind of isn't, so I'm going to make my own. So I'm just going to stick two of these together, and then I can just write over the top of it. learned how to use the the little mini headers or at the start I kind of didn't I was using the bigger boxes I think I was trying to get it fuller faster whereas now it's kind of like work out how to fill up the gaps if that makes any sense I love these little sprinkles they just look so cute I think the part of it that's actually annoying and not annoying me but is the hardest for me to get over is the fact that I can't get the stickers in exactly a straight line which sounds really stupid 
you can, but it's just once you start and if you're not in a completely straight line, you kind of end up going just a slide off centre, but I can live with it. going to fill all this in but at the same time what I'm going to do is for this week every time I write something in my red yellow planner I'm going to write it in here too and then at the end of the week I'm going to show you what this looks like so that I'm kind of planning twice over which feels really weird but I want to see if I can actually use this style of a planner because I'm not sure if I can but I want to give it a go covering up over here so I'm going to use this other lot of donuts just because I have a feeling that if I'm going to do this the way that I do everything else and I'm going to write it down and, and do the, the journaling and stuff I kind of need a little bit more space than that so I've just grabbed a plain piece of white paper and that way I'm just going to put this down put the sticker down on here and just do a flip out for this sort of side bit. Okay. Just grabbing the paper trimmer really quick. Just doing that up. Oops, now I need to fold this over first. Just need to give myself a little bit more room because there's definitely not enough room on that spread to be able to write a ton of stuff. So this still isn't going to be a lot of room, but at least it's a little bit. I'm going to stick that in with some glue. You guys didn't think I could go a whole plan a week without using glue of some kind, did you? I'm not going to put the washi in. I feel like the, the, the spaces in between don't need to be filled. And I know I've seen a lot of people leave just the, the spaces on the side. And you guys will have to tell me if that doesn't count as no white space, because I think it counts as in it doesn't count as space. But if it does, let me know, because I've hidden it. Go, just need to fill up these last couple. There was a um, flaggy that I left the bit off for, so I'm gonna put that in too. Very difficult to get in there. I feel like I'm playing a game of operation, guys. things in here just to just to fill it up so otherwise I feel like it's gonna be really really empty. I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the rest and I, I know I still do have other things that I could write in there but like I said I'm gonna try and use this like with my other planner so when I write something in my other planner I'm gonna put it in here too. I don't think this is the only part that I never quite get, but I'm going to try this as well. So I'm just going to write in here and just Jim. Again, not that we're going, but just to remind us to go outside and do it. Not that we have been, but anyway. Just a little not sure why we get so many to do lists if there's not all to do. Things like this, I guess I could use them down here, couldn't I? Actually, that's not here, just to break that up. There's parts of kits that I don't understand, so maybe someone needs to explain why I get quite so many of some of these things, but I think, I think I'm gonna leave it alone. I, I don't love it, but I don't not love it. Does that make any sense? Like, I, that's, it, it's not my comfortable place, but that was a lot of fun. It was very therapeutic sticking down all those stickers. 
certainly felt like a bit of a puzzle trying to make them all fit so I'm, I'm I like that part of it I'm interested to see if I can use this if I can actually try and fill up all the gaps that there are there and actually make it look like this has been a, a planned out week uh, so make sure you check in with me I'll put a photo up next Saturday that'll be sort of my I know that won't have Sunday in it, but I would have written everything in it that I needed to. So check in with me on Instagram and I'll make sure to post something on there and show you guys what I did. Um, but if you have any tips for using a vertical planner with no white space, please let me know because I'm interested to sort of learn a bit more about it because I, I definitely don't quite, I don't quite get it. I mean, I've used every, I've, I've covered every inch and I have still got stickers left. I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, let me know. Leave it down below. Please give this one a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And let me know if there's any other kind of planner setup you'd like me to try. Especially at the moment. I feel like it's a really good way to keep me interested, keep me learning, keep me trying new things. So leave them down below for me. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.